This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Leo. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Leo. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this week. Spirit messages for my Leos. Okay, so you want to communicate with someone or you're waiting for someone to communicate with you. Alright, so for some of you it could have to do with a marriage or a long-term commitment. But you'll feel like someone is forcing you to do something against your will or someone is taking something from you against your will. And this is causing you some stress and anxiety. This is causing you a lot of sleepless nights. Because you're focused on one person. You're focused on someone that you see to be grounded and stable and can take care of themselves. Now there was an ending here that is causing you a lot of hurt and pain. But there is going to be a transition just now. It could be a month or two away. But you are going to finally let go of the things that are holding you back. And you're going to finally open communication with this person. So you're about to send a message to someone to reconcile. Either a marriage or a long-term commitment. For some of you, you feel like someone is trying to force you to end a marriage or a long-term commitment that you are in. But it is going to take a little more time than this person is demanding. Spirit messages for my Leos. Yeah, because you want an equal give and take in this situation. You want this person to reciprocate your advances and reciprocate your love. You could be connecting to a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. You could have this in your chart. But it's like you're feeling that you're robbing yourself of something. Like you're cheating yourself out of something. You could be feeling like you're cheating yourself out of love. Because you do have a lot of love for someone and you wear your heart on your sleeve when it comes to that person. Could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. But I think this person has closed off themselves to you. They act like they don't care anymore because you are not expressing the way you feel towards them. And now that they have done that, you are ready to offer them something along the lines of a relationship huh because you have finally let go of the anxiety and stress about the ending now you're questioning the relationship you're questioning if this is something you should be doing you question if it is natural to be that attracted to someone. But for some of you, you do not see this person as marriage material. You don't see growth with this person. Could be a Taurus or a Libra you're connecting to. But 
you want an equal give and take. You want this person to show you their love as much as you are willing to show them, show it to them. Now, instead of expressing your love, you decided to walk away from this person. You decided to walk towards someone else. You decided to choose someone else. And then you realized that you missed this person, that you're nostalgic about this relationship, that there is a familiarity about this person that you have never felt with anyone else. And it is something that you have walked away from. There was an ending here. And now you're realizing that you want to walk back. And now you want stability with this person. You want long-term commitment with them. You want homecoming. You want loyalty from this person. But for some of you, this person is in another relationship or they are not willing to give you that that relationship at this point in time. But for others of you, this person have been waiting on you to return to them. Because there was something that you were not seeing or something that they were not seeing and they were full, they had full knowledge of that and they were willing to hold on and wait on you. Because there was a separation here. There was a separation here that you're finally coming out of. And now you're ready to offer them commitment. Could be a Torah some of you are connecting to. Or for some of you, you're, you were waiting to finish a marriage or long-term commitment before coming towards this person. Now, you know you would have to walk away from the marriage if you plan on being with this person. That's for some of you. Because you want a new beginning in passion. You want a new beginning with someone. So for some of you, it is a marriage. You're returning to your wife or your husband and starting something new. For others of you, you're walking away from a marriage or a long-term commitment to go towards this person. Yeah. For some of you, it's a third-party situation. And you're going to be making a choice. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you walked away from. And now this person doesn't really care because you have pushed them so far that now they don't really care if you come or if you go. And now that they have reached to that point, you are ready to offer them stability and long-term commitment and a new relationship. But I'm not sure if they're willing to take that risk with you anymore. It's like they're not, they don't want to work on it with you. They don't want to be committed to you anymore. And for most of you, they are going to ghost you. Because of whatever you did in the past, for some of you it was a third party situation and they found out about it and they left. So this person is definitely not going to want to walk back to you knowing that you had them as a, third of a, as a part of a third party situation. For some of you it was you that ghosted this person. Yeah. Because you, you refused them a new beginning when it came to love and commitment. And you went silent on them and you withdrew from them and you decided that you were not going to speak to them, you're not going to explain anything to them. Could be an Aries some of you are connecting with or you could have it in your chart, but you were not taking charge of the situation at that point in time. Because this person probably tried to speak to you concerning it. For most of you, they waited on you for a while. And you kept pushing them away. Mm -hmm. So they finally accepted the truth. And found the strength to move on. Now they are in this energy of not caring, not being considerate, not being kind, maybe controlling, demanding. Could be an Aries Leo or Saj you're dealing with or Leo. But someone here is manifesting this connection. 
could be you Leo could be them but somebody tried to manifest this connection before or is trying to manifest it now because someone felt ultimately betrayed by the other person and someone felt like there was no growth potential here or they feel that way now but a decision is going to be made by either you or them concerning the time that they waited on you to return or the time you waited on them to make a decision but someone wants to offer the other one a relationship now and to see where it will go but someone isn't really too okay one of you could be you leo would have to sell the person the idea of a relationship and then they may say oh, okay i would give you that chance because you have been looking at them on social media, passing by their house, checking up on them through friends. But you have been doing some private investigation where this person is concerned. Because you came across defensive in the beginning and you decided you were standing your grounds and you were not going to have a relationship with this person and you didn't want to have anything to do with them. But now you find yourself at this place where you want a new beginning with them. A new passionate beginning too. Because all of a sudden you saw good potential with them. But I don't think they care much about what it is you want anymore. Because they probably tried to speak to you. And you did not reciprocate them at that time. So I think to, for you to get back with this person. You're going to have to do a lot of convincing. What is the most likely outcome for my Leos in this specific connection? The most likely outcome for my Leos in this specific connection. So you need to change your perspective on the whole situation. You need to look at this from a more child-like point of view. Take a risk. Don't look for anything in the end. Let go the outcome. That is what you have to do if you want to save this connection and this relationship. Because you self-sabotaged your own relationship with this person before. Now you're wanting to come back and have a new beginning with them and build something with them. But I don't think they're making it that easy. Because you have now realized that they hold the key to your heart. And they are the one that have unlocked you in, in, in ways that you never believe you could have been unlocked. Whether it be financial, in love. But you see them as the key to opening up yourself. Now you may be sending messages to this person or you may be waiting for this person to send messages to you because you have learned your lesson concerning something that happened between you and them in the past. Alright, so this is what it is I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.